some, some Dimmick. If you want some, maybe we'll just pass it around the crowd. You can take a good look at it. You guys thirsty up there? You know, I've got to say, it's got to be a lot more fun to be out here, don't you think? I mean, you picture passing through the hallways of the Climate Control Convention Center. Huh. All those penny loafers and cufflinks and yeah. bad shirts and ah. navy blazers. <laughs> I'm dying. Right, right, okay. Are we participating in democracy? Yes! Wait a minute. Do you have an ID? <laughs> I have mine. My Pennsylvania driver's license right here. And, and I asked the police behind to take pictures of everybody. They could put them up on Facebook and we could just tag ourselves and make it easier for them. Yeah! Just so they know who you are that's they here. They know who I am! I'm, I'm here because I love Pennsylvania. Me too. I'm lucky enough to live on the Pennsylvania side of that great flowing border with New York, the Delaware River. Right? Me too, Josh, me too. And a lot of us here stopped drilling in the Delaware River last yes, year, didn't we? Yes, we did! And we're yes, going to we keep did. that going. Woo! But I, I want to just talk briefly because there's a lot of amazing people who are going to come up here. I want to do the math, right? I want to take a, a little bit of a page out of uh, Bill Clinton's book. And I want to do a little bit of the arithmetic. Uh -huh. Because we know that we've got democracy out here. But something else is happening in there. Something far more nefarious is happening in there. And I wonder if you could tell me what you think it is when I break this down. Money, baby. You've got, I hear a few suggestions. <laughs> We've got 2.3 million private water wells in Pennsylvania. That's more private water wells than any other state in the union. Indeed. Pennsylvanians know what it means to depend on the water in the ground. Yes. We live on it. It is our life force, it is our culture, and it is our identity. 2.3 million private water wells. Now, I don't have to tell you that we're in complete crisis with every aspect of this industry. With this, from the standpoint of water contamination that is rampant across all the counties and towns that they're drilling in across the entire state. With air pollution, with methane being vented off into the atmosphere. And as you heard Bill McKibben speak about the climate crisis as it is now, we know methane is 105 times more potent than CO2 is in the atmosphere. And in that building right there, when they tell you that gas is cleaner than coal, you know that it is a lie. It is a bold-faced lie. Now, we also know that we're in a crisis of democracy. Who came and talked there this morning? Governor Tom Corbett. Yeah. Who else came talk this morning? Boo. Secretary of the Department of Environmental Protection, Michael Cranston. That's freaking hard. The Department of Environmental Protection, Protection. is in the convention center. Oh my in the climate controlled, carpeted convention center. That so, how much is 2.3 million water wells worth in dollars? Well, the previous Pennsylvania Department of Environmental Protection and the previous governor did a little bit of a cost analysis. When the water was contaminated in Dimmick, and it is still contaminated, it is still contaminated no matter what the EPA press releases said, the EPA tests told me when I read them that the water is contaminated. They have explosive levels of methane, they have polynuclear aromatic hydrocarbons, they've got arsenic, they've got sodium, they've got evidence of contaminants from gas drilling, and we know that they are there. And for the EPA to come out and throw those people under the bus, it's shameful. Shameful. It is shameful. And we have to hold them accountable for that. Horrible. But the PADEP came in and they said anyone whose water had more than seven parts per million methane was uh, contaminated and we're going to build a water line for you. You remember this? Yeah. The last thing that Ed Rendell almost did. We're going to build you a water line. The water line 
price tag was $12.5 million. Drop For the, the initial bucket. cost, $12 million. 13 water wells went, uh, 13 gas wells went bad in dinner. Okay? The projection from the Dep Pennsylvania Department of Conservation and Natural Resources is 180,000 gas wells in Pennsylvania. 13 went bad in dinner. So what's the rate of failure? If you watch the sky is pink, and you might have, you know that 5% of the cement goes bad immediately upon drilling. So immediate contamination, 5%. What's 5% times 12.5 million times 180,000? Well, it's a trillion dollars. Wow. It's a trillion dollars. That's the bottom end. And the wealth of cement keeps failing over 50 years. Over 30 years, 50% of them fail. The contamination in Dimmick was nine square miles. If you multiply that by 180,000, by the percentage that will fail immediately, you have 90,000 square miles. That's twice the size of Pennsylvania. So what these people in there are doing is stealing. It's stealing a future. It's, you know, we know. I'm not quoting some left-wing think tank when I quote those statistics. I'm quoting Schlumberger, the number one fracking company in the world. I'm quoting ConocoPhillips. I'm quoting the industry's own statistics. 5% failure. If 5% of airplanes crash, we wouldn't have airports. 95 is an A, right? But they're still failing at 95% immediately. So what these people in this room are doing is condemning Pennsylvania to a, a permanent situation of life support that's going to cost the citizens between $500 billion and who knows what. One trillion dollars they are taking from out underneath you, out underneath Pennsylvania. It's staggering. But this is the math. If we have Dimmicks across Pennsylvania, which we do, hundreds of cases in, in Bradford County, cases in Tioga County, in Flammable Water, cases all across Butler County, all across southwestern, southeastern Pennsylvania. I mean, uh, northwestern and northeastern Pennsylvania. So, oh, I think I've emptied the room. So, what are these people in here? They're part of a very sad legacy that we have in Pennsylvania of robber barons who would exploit this, country, this, this state and contaminate this state. disenfranchise you. Hell no. Don't let them disenfranchise you at the ballot box in November, and don't let them disenfranchise you by discounting what you have to say about what's happening all across Pennsylvania. We have to take back this state. We have to learn from history. We have to protect it because it's beautiful and because we love it. Yes. And when they come to the door to rob you blind, <laughs> identify them for what they are. This is not a business model. This is not economic development. This is not jobs. This is thievery. And it's happening with the endorsement of the wholly owned subsidiary of the gas industry, the corporate administration. Yeah! I want to thank you very much for being here today from the bottom of my heart. I know that we are going to win. I know things are difficult, but I know that we're going to win. Keep spreading the word, keep talking to your neighbors, keep telling everybody you know about what is happening to you in Pennsylvania. Thank you so very much. Thank you very much.